Hey guys, what is going on? So today I want to do a photo comparison test with the Pixel 3a and the almighty Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Now do keep in mind I used settings straight out of the box. I know the Pixel 3a is capable of doing HDR plus enhanced, uh, but for this test I just left it what it was straight out of the box, which is just normal HDR plus. And to be honest, there's not really that much of a difference with HDR plus and HDR plus enhanced except for like very 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 low light scenes like we're talking about like almost pitch black that's the only really difference so this it shouldn't really matter in this test um but yeah so let's get started so right now we are looking at the beach and uh immediately I guess you guys could tell that the pixel looks more contrasty, especially if you look at the reds in the, in the lifeguard thing. I don't know what that's called, but the red definitely pops out more. And if you look close at the foliage, you can see that the pixel uh, is, has a little bit more shadows in, uh, in between those yellow uh, flowers, whereas the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus has completely lifted those shadows and overall just made a, a, a pretty, you know, pretty good looking photo. But this literally strictly is a matter of preference. Uh, the white balance on the Pixel seems to be a little uh, cooler while the Galaxy is a little bit more uh, warm. Both phones did amazing over here. It literally comes down to personal preference. I mean, even I can't decide which one looks good. Uh, so yeah, let's just move on to the next photo. Okay, so here we're looking at the ice cream parlor sign. And um, again, this, the same thing kind of goes for this one. If you look at the, uh, the painted palm tree on the brick wall to the left, you can see that the Pixel just has more punchy colors. But the Samsung has definitely lifted the shadows on the brick wall in the very background, the, I guess the, the triangular brick wall. You can see more of the bricks and you can see more detail in the bricks as opposed to the Pixel. Um, but again, this literally comes down to personal preference. I mean, both of them look good. I mean, I, I, I still can't pick which one looks best. Now looking at this image here with the hot rod, um, surprisingly, the S10 Plus has actually, I don't know what happened over here with this picture, but I definitely prefer the pixel image, uh, especially if you look at the palm tree on the left side. It looks very, very soft on the uh, the Galaxy. I have no idea why, but with the Pixel, it looks very sharp. The colors are popping. Overall, I mean, it's just a, a more pleasing image. But again, let me know what you guys think. Now, this image is at the boardwalk. And uh, the main difference I see here really is uh, exposure, I think. Uh, exposure and a little bit of sharpness. Uh, if, you can, if you guys can look at the green roof to the right side of the image, you can see that the Pixel has really done a good job making it nice and sharp and really popping out the color. Um, and same thing goes with the left side of the image, uh, the number 92. 92 on the uh, Galaxy looks a little washed out. Meanwhile, with the Pixel, it looks nice and contrasty. So that's pretty much what we're gonna be seeing throughout these, uh, these uh, photos, to be honest. The Pixel just, uh, straight out of the camera maybe has a better kind of look to it but again it's all personal preference I'm not saying the Samsung is bad I'm just saying you know the pixel may look a tad better straight out of camera if you want to pop it into Instagram or any of your social platforms now in these two photos over here this is a very good this is a very good example of uh, how lifting up the shadows may not be the best part because the Samsung Galaxy S10 has lifted the shadows so much the black ball looks brown on the cup and uh, the, the paper just looks very soft if you compare it to the pixel especially the the writing the writing on the pixel the americano macchiato uh, you can even see more of the duncan in, in the white color uh, you can just see more detail in the pixel so sometimes uh, messing with uh, you know the contrast and lifting up the shadows and lowering the highlights may not be always the best thing I mean, lowering highlights if they're clipping is probably the, a good thing, but lifting up the shadows not all the time is a good thing. Now, here we are looking at the engine of the hot rod. If you look at it very quickly, you may not notice a difference, but if you look at the, I guess, moon 
And there's like a little sticker on the inside of the engine bay. It says M-O-O-N, moon. You can see that the moon on the, the writing is much more sharper on the Samsung Galaxy S10 than it is on the Pixel. It seems like maybe the Pixel has focused onto the actual engine and not anything in the background. That's, that's from what it seems like. So in this shot, uh, the Samsung Galaxy S10, I think, did a, uh, a better overall shot. Now this photo, pretty much of a nice burger joint that we got going on here. Again, it, it's it's personal preference, man. I mean, listen, it's, it's, it's again, it's a matter of it's a matter of white balance. If it's, it's, it's a matter of if you like contrasty or you don't like contrasty, I think both of them did a uh, a pretty fantastic job. I think both of them are just as sharp in this photo. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the Pixel or the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus? So this is another example of HDR. We got the palm tree and the sun right behind the palm tree. Um, here, I don't know. Here, I think I like the Pixel a little bit more. It seems like there's a very, it seems like the, the Google, or I'm sorry, the Samsung is a little too green. It has, a, has like this weird uh, green type of filter on it, but the galaxy does lift the shadows again. So you, you do see more of, of the, uh, actual, uh, building and more detail in the palm trees to the left side of the building. But, uh, you know, as far as, you know, I mean, listen, <laughs> I, I don't know. Again, I think I would probably pick the pixel because I, I, I like me some contrast because if you look at the blue rails on the pixel, they're nice and blue, they pop out, they stand out. Same with the red poles. Meanwhile, the red poles on the Galaxy almost look orange and they don't really pop out at all. So this is, uh, yeah, again, a matter of preference. Now, again, this picture is another reason why it's not always a good thing to lift the shadows because you lose contrast that way. And this image, I mean, yeah, you can see more details in the shadows on the Galaxy, but the Pixel definitely has the more appealing, more natural type of look to it. And it doesn't even seem like the white balance is the issue because if you guys look at the very bottom, the mulch, they're practically the same color. The Pixel and the S10 Plus really did a good job on the mulch because those colors are pretty much identical. But the actual foliage, the leaves on the Pixel look better. I, th I think so. So um, again, post comments below. And here we go, another uh, perfect example of HDR. In this photo, I'm gonna go with, again, Pixel. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Pixel because uh, the Pixel kept the sun more intact. And on the S10 Plus, the sun is a little more blown out, so you're not really getting that orange. Uh, so on the Pixel, you're getting the yellow in the very center, and then you're getting a nice little uh, orange glow that goes around. Meanwhile, with the Galaxy, you're just kind of getting um, a very blown out yellow and a very mild orange. The clouds underneath the sun are much more pronounced in the pixel image. So again, this goes back to contrast. Do you guys want more contrast or do you guys want the shadows to be lifted because you can't really have both of everything. So overall, both did a good job, but if I had to pick, I would still pick the pixel. So here we have, again, two images and very, very different uh, colors this time. The black hot rod on the left, on the, on the pixel, that's how it looked in real life. But for some reason, the Galaxy made it like a dark green type of, type of look to it. And if you look at the background, the, now we have like the complete opposite story. Now the Samsung Galaxy S10 has kept more of the sun intact and the pixel has blown it out just a little bit, just a smidge. But the weird thing is, is that the clouds above the sun this time are way more visible and I guess better exposed on the pixel than it is on the galaxy. I mean, yeah, the, the pixel did a better photo, but I guess the, the galaxy looks more realistic in my opinion. If it wasn't for the black or if it wasn't for the green shade on the car, I think I would pick the the Galaxy, but I don't know why it, it made the car, the black car go a little green. Even the sidewalk has this very yellowish tint to it. So I don't know. So this image right here surprised me a lot. The Pixel, again, 
again, guys, it's the same thing every single picture. Do you want contrast or do you want the shadows to be lifted? Because here the pixel, the leather on the pixel is just showing so much more detail, especially near the headrest area. It's just showing way, way, way more detail, especially on the roof of the car, the, the, you know, the, the lining on the roof. I don't know. I don't know why the, um, the Galaxy just loves, you know, really bumping up those shadows and they don't look good, especially the back seat. I mean, look at the back seat of the Galaxy and then look at the back seat of the Pixel. So again, I think the Pixel takes this one. So in this image right here, uh, this is where things get uh, a matter of preference 100% because the Galaxy flips the image. Meanwhile, the Pixel leaves it as if someone is looking at you in person. So you can still read, you know, my hat, Adidas. You can read my uh, shirt, New York. And then you can read the Atlantic uh, sign on the very you know background of the image. I prefer it to be like this because you know when I take a selfie, I want it to look as if someone is looking at me and taking a photo instead of flipping it. You know, the Galaxy again is trying to lift those shadows too much. I don't know why the Galaxy keeps doing this. And it seems like the Pixel, if you look at my beard or <laughs> the beard that I don't really have. Uh, the stubble if you look at the stubble on the pixel it, it definitely has more sharpness to it and you can really almost see each individual hair meanwhile with the samsung you don't it, it, it just looks like um like it's painted on <laughs> um but yeah this this one goes to the pixel but let me know maybe you like the galaxy photo more i i don't know so now we have our first nighttime photo and I don't really have to say anything. I mean, the pixel is crazy. Literally just straight up insane. I mean, you can even see the blue in the background of the trees. Even my eyes couldn't see that. That, I mean, <laughs> the pixel literally just shocks me every single time I take a photo at night. Here, uh, again, th there's no, there's no comparison. You can you can see the green. It keeps the color. I mean, you know, it's it's night and day difference. I mean, you can even see some of the stars on the Pixel. Truly is a fantastic camera for nighttime photography. So guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Again, it comes down to a matter of preference. I think comparing photos in a phone is very tough to do because if I like something, you guys may not like it. And if you guys like it, I may not like it. So it comes down to preference. If you saw what you saw and you thought that the Galaxy did better on one photo or the Pixel did better on one photo or vice versa, listen, that's okay. I'm not here to say which, which camera did better. I just came here to make this video to share with you guys what I personally like, like better and to hear more about what you guys got to say. What do you think about this comparison? What you think about the photos? Which phone did better overall? Let me know in the comment section below. This was Mark from Mark's Tech, and I'm out.